Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about range gated Doppler filters. So, what do you mean by range gated Doppler filters? In the MTI radar, the output of the receiver is connected to a delay line canceller. In MTI radar, that means the output of MTI radar is having both uh, uh, stationary target information and moving target information. How we have uh, uh, considered only stationary target uh, elimination and uh, only moving target identification that is based upon the delay line canceller. What, the, what is the purpose of delay line canceller? Delay line canceller keeps only <coughs> moving targets and eliminates all stationary targets by using some subtractor in it. But of course we have seen a blind speed effect again we have avoided the concept of blind speed effect using multiple staggered pulse rotation frequency. Now when you consider the pulse Doppler comp pulse Doppler radar system PDR okay in this uh, radar systems we are discussing about two different radar systems MTA radar and pulse Doppler radar MTA radar we have seen with the two different uh, um, amplifier sections like a power amplifier section and a power oscillator section so we have seen the drawback blind speed now when you consider the pulse Doppler radar system pulse Doppler radar system how this pulse Doppler radar system is going to be created transmitting section of transmitting section of pulse radar system I am just recollecting what is the pulse Doppler radar system transmitting section of pulse radar system <coughs> and a receiving section of receiving section of CW radar so if you join these two then it becomes a pulse Doppler radar okay this is what we have seen in the previous video now this pulse Doppler radar system how this in the pre uh, in MTA radar I told you the stationary targets and moving targets can be eliminated uh, can be separated by using a delay line canceller but in pulse Doppler radar a range gated Doppler filter is the method to eliminate the stationary targets and to get the moving target echoes because both MTA radar and pulse MTA radar and pulse Doppler radar are used to identify the moving target information but not stationary target information so definitely we should use some methods or techniques to identify the moving targets among large number of clutters so range gated Doppler filters range gated Doppler filter is used in pulse Doppler radar to identify moving targets in large number of stationary clutters okay so when you are having n number of stationary clusters among them one moving target is there that can be identified by using your pulse doppler radar by using the concept called range gated doppler filter so what do you mean by range gated doppler filter so what do you mean by range gated doppler filter uh, generally the loss of information the loss of information the loss of information related to range may be eliminated eliminated by first quantizing by first quantizing the received range or time we can say it as range because range and time are both proportional to each other we can say range or time range or time into small intervals so we, ne we have to divide the incoming range or time into small intervals so that depending upon the corresponding interval it is in which time period that time period that range gate is going to be opened so this process of dividing the range into number of time intervals small time intervals is nothing but range gating so this process is called this process is called a range 
gating okay what we are doing we are receiving the target information at different from different different positions okay uh, several number of targets are there okay one is moving target another one is a stationary target such type of informations are there we are now dividing okay each and every target is located at different different positions now let us consider there are different uh, five uh, different targets are there which are having r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 these five different ranges uh, ranges are targets are at with different time slots or different ranges okay now our radar system is having our range gate doppler filter will be having five different uh, time slots to receive these five different ranges so first time slot will receive r1 to five, fifth time slot will receive r5 like this we will divide the corresponding range filter will be activated and it will be sending to the processing unit okay so the output for the stationary target is a series of pulses with constant amplitude um, what what is the meaning of concentration of range with different targets uh, what happens with the range from the stationary target stationary target will be producing always the same range but moving target will be producing always different ranges because its distance is always keep on changing depending upon the movement of the target okay suppose if the target is moving away from the radar system the distance increases if the target is moving uh, towards the radar system the uh, distance decreases depending upon the movement of the target the range always keep on varying but what about the stationary target the stationary target will be also uh, will be having always a constant amplitude so the stationary targets output is a series of pulses which are with a constant amplitude always but what about the moving targets they are keep on changing okay so now uh, how this uh, concept is going to be implemented is the input output of this pulse doppler radar output of the pulse doppler radar this is the pulse doppler radar see in the previous case when we were discussing the delay line canceller i told you the output of mta radar because delay line cancellers are used in mta radar pulse doppler radar uses range gated doppler filters both are used to identify the moving targets among large number of stationary clutters <laughs> okay so the output of this pulse doppler radar is given to range gated doppler filters as i told range gated so number of ranges are being selected here n number of selections are there n number of filters we are using to select a particular frequency a particular time zone okay so the first range gate this is the first range gate second range gate third range gate and so on will be having n number of range gates the output of first range gate see i will explain only one uh, channel because every channel is having same setup n number of channels are repeated here now so the output of range gated filter range selector is given to box care generator what do you mean by box care generator box care generator is nothing but a sample and hold circuit a sample and hold circuit because it is a gate with a small time instant i told you already range is proportional to time range is range is proportional to time so you are selecting a particular range means you are giving a particular time slot okay like 1 to 2 millisecond 2 to 3 millisecond 3 to 4 millisecond like this we are selecting 1 to 3 4 filters so as we are selecting a particular sample from the input from the output of pulse doppler radar that sample has to be stretched and keeps for some time to observe okay so that's why box care generator is used which produces a sample and sample and hold circuit okay i will write here box care generator uh, range filter <coughs> range gate you can call it as range gate sets the time period range gate sets the time period second one box care generator box care generator what is the purpose of box care generator to stretch the signal stretch the signal because 
time slot is very small instant you, you, during this uh, range gate what happens a small pulse has to be transmitted towards the box card generator but box card we, in order to process the signal we need to stretch the signal for long duration so to stretch that we are using a sample and whole circuit so by using this could be happened by using sample and hold circuit so sample and hold circuit is a circuit to use it to stretch the signal okay now go back to the block diagram so the output of this one is given to band pass filter which is nothing but a doppler filter so here different types of doppler filters are used this filter frequency is different with this frequency filter second one again for third one again for n number okay so each and every band pass filter is used to select a particular doppler frequency component from the received signal frequency see what happens here which is the stationary target and which is the moving target that is being eliminated by here only here the doppler frequency component is used to select the moving targets only only the moving targets will be passing through this band pass filter and all other signals are being eliminated in this stage only so the output of this doppler filter is given to a full wave linear detector full wave linear detector because i already told you the a PPI display PPI display is used to display only can display only DC component not the AC component so DC component nothing but which is having a singular unipolar nothing but unipolar it is having either complete positive side it is any negative side so unipolar in order to convert a bipolar to unipolar we are using this uh, fully rectifier AC component to DC component later it is going to be passing through low pass filter so low pass filter which is used to select only low frequency components because I, I already told you Doppler frequency component is having a very low component low frequency it is in the order of only uh, kilohertz so such type of filters are uh, such type of low frequencies are being selected and then transmitted to threshold device so threshold is a device which is used to set which can be identified as the moving target that is going to be prescribed here that is threshold and the output of this given to any data processing like a PPI display or any scope display whatever we are using as a display unit that is going to be used here in the data processing or display unit okay so this is the range gated Doppler filter which we are using in the pulse Doppler radar system to select the moving target from just a large number of stationary targets okay so uh, MTA radar is uh, using delay line canceller, but it is using range gates. Uh, the range resolution is also established using this range gates. Range resolution will be more because we are selecting the number of time slots, number of time slots with only particular concentration on the particular range. So resolution is also more in this range gated Doppler filters. Thank you.